This is Lesson 16.6, and the focus is, how can you work backward to solve a problem? You know how to use a plan to solve a problem. Today you will review how working backward can help you solve a problem. I want you to think about when, in everyday life, have you had to work backward? There are clearly a lot of possibilities here. But most of them will deal with a time whenever you know um, the end result that you're trying to get to and you're trying to figure out how to get it. For example, uh, something you want to buy at the store, you know how much it costs, you may work backward um, in order to earn the money um, in order to be able to buy it. Please take a look at the following problem and think about how you can work backward to solve it. Ben agrees to meet his friends at the ballpark for a 7.30 p.m. game. Trains leave the station near his home at 6.30, 6.50, 7.10, and 7.30 p.m. The train trip takes 30 minutes. He estimates that walking from his home to the train station takes 10 minutes, and walking from the train station to the ballpark takes another 5 minutes. Which is the latest train that Ben can take without being late? Tell how you decide it. Please pause now to solve this problem. So what strategies could you use to solve this problem? One possibility would be to guess and check. However, hopefully you thought about working backward since that's our focus today. So let's suppose you work backward. What is the latest time that Ben needs to be at the ballpark? 7.30 would be the absolute latest, since that is the time at which the game begins. So as we work backward, what time must Ben get off the train in order to get there at 7.30? Well, since it's going to take him another 5 minutes to walk from the train station to the game, 7.25, so we're at 7.30, and we're now at 7.25 he must get off the train by in order to get to the game on time. The next piece of important information would be how long is the train ride? It says the train trip takes 30 minutes. So now we're going to have to subtract 30 minutes from 725. So by which time must Ben get on the train by? You subtract the 30 minutes you'll get 6.55. Again, we're working backwards. So since he needs to leave by 6.55 and be on the train by that time, is there a train at that time? Looking at the train times, we can see that there is no 6.55 train. The 7.30 train would be much too late since the game is starting at that time. So we can get rid of that. The 7.10 train we know won't give him enough time since he needs to be on a train by 6.55. So working backward here, the 6.50 is definitely a possibility. 6.30 would give him even more time. But remember, the question is, what is the latest train that Ben can take without being late? So if he takes the 6.50 train, that should allow him time to get there. So this is one example of working backward to solve a problem. Let's try another. Here's the problem. A basketball team needs $500 for a trip. Team members had some money in their account. After they received donations of $240 and raised another $190, they had all the money they needed. What is the least amount of money they could have had in the account to begin with? Please use the work backwards strategy to solve this problem and please bring your answer and all your work to class to discuss tomorrow. This is Lesson 16.6, and the focus is, how can you work backward to solve a problem? It's time to see who's been watching the entire videos. If you do the following problem, and show me first thing in the morning, you will receive two extra points on your Topic 16 test. Your challenge is to simply write a problem that you would uh, have to solve by working backward. 
So write a word problem that you would solve by working backward. Please show it to me in the morning for two extra points.